We are back. Final technique of the week. Is the final one? I think so. I think it is. Man, the week's just it's too busy this week. We looked at the half guard all week from the checkmate position, giving you numerous sweeps. We've got to talk about the problems, though. Like, the main problem here, if we get to that position, we should win every single time. The one thing our opponent can do to really make it challenging for us is to get a strong wizard. Okay? What is the wizard? Well, it's where I haven't hooked my opponent. And they overhook on this side. If he's heavy with the shoulder now, he can drop my shoulder down and make it very difficult for me to, to create pressure into him. I've got a few ideas for you here. The first thing we want to talk about is building base. So when we head to the dogfight position, all right, from our checkmate position, let's just have a look at that real quick. Okay, we reviewed this every day this week, so this should be ingrained now. Two on one, defend the cross face. He dives in, elbow line to the armpit. Win, bridge, get to the hip line. Hide the elbow, do the leg work. Come up. This is the dog fight here, guys. This is the dog fight. Okay, let's just see how we've stopped. So Coach T's gonna, what he needs to do to get the wizard is he needs to retract his hips. He does that, does a good job, finds the wizard, right? If I'm good enough, just come back please. If I'm good enough on my position here, I won't allow him to come back. As he comes back, that's when I'm gonna take him down with any of the sweeps that we've looked at this week. But if, let's say he's good, he manages to get the wizard. Now it's hard for me because he can drive me back this way strong. He can drive me down. Okay, he's winning. Now look very carefully where we are now. Both on our knees. Coach T has one hand up. He has got the advantage in the dogfight. I need to match his base to be equal. So if I'm on an elbow and he's on a hand, he's advantageous. If I come up to the hand, we're equal again. If I can build base again, now I'm winning. Okay, and this is the fight. We're both on our elbows, equal. He comes up to a hand, I match him. Okay, if I can get my foot up first and drive, I'll win the position. Nine times out of ten. But if he brings his foot up, now we're equal again. So this is the game, right? We need to deal with this. What can we do? A couple of options for you here. So I've got the connection on the hip. One way we can defeat this is by driving in, making our opponent feel like we want the knee. He's going to push back hard, and as he does, I can limp arm out to the seatbelt, and of course from there, we're going to take the back pretty easily. How do I do that? Well, from the grip around the waist, as he drives back in, I open my hand. Open the hand, and feed it back around the loop of his waistline. We'll do it the other way in a second, so you can see. One more time, here look. I make him feel that, I built the base, when he can feel that I'm driving this way, as he pushes back, I open straight into the seatbelt. It's a really natural feeling, natural position. Just move 90 degrees this way, mate, please. We'll do it this way so you can see how the hand works. So here, look, driving forward, looking for this knee, comes back, open, circle. And I throw it out, and then dive straight for the seatbelt. We don't mess around. From here, of course, we'll be looking to, to take the back from there, right? That's one option. Second option, a little bit more kind of subtle. It's the same action, but it's a limp arm. So I let my arm go super floppy. And I had to utilize this when my opponent's really pressing down on the wizard a lot. If I try and fight him by using a load of momentum, we can get entangled. So I like to really let this go as floppy as possible. It's called a limp arm for a reason. And just limp it out. It looks like this. In the, the dog fight here, it's going to apply maximal pressure. This can work when I'm lower in base. So he's beat me, loads of pressure here. I let my arm go limp, whoop, fires out. Okay, this is not, we're not messing around here like he's, Coach T's definitely going for this. He's going to press a load of pressure. Look, you can see the position of my elbow, shoulder. We still beat him. All right, you've got to get timing's key. You've got to allow your arm to go floppy. One more time, heavy pressure. He's beat me to the base. Sometimes he can get his foot up as well. Get your foot up. Like he's got maximum base now. He's crushing me here. Limp arm out. Straight for the seatbelt. If this stays here, crucifix. Happy days. One last option for you. Don't use it a lot, but I'll show you. Is to control the wizard arm. And look for a sweep again. Okay, so. It can look like this. This hand is what we were looking for here. Okay, don't control it with this hand. I want this for base. What I can do though is come underneath and re-grip. 
Here, works a lot in Nogi, this, really good. Okay, now our opponent knows this. If he tries to, to defeat this by bringing his arm out, he leaves himself vulnerable for sweeps, right? Gives me the inside position again. But if I'm quick, I can grab the wrist and I can just dive. I pin my elbow in, knee, look, even if he falls on top, no problem. He's got no post on this side. I keep rolling, keep rolling, do my leg work on the inside. Leg drag position, happy days. All right, no one is a lot, but you know, if we're, thank you mate, if we're in that dogfight position and maybe you, know, you want to catch someone by surprise, it's a nice one, come through, grab the wrist, dive under. As long as the elbow's in, they can't retract the arm, they've got no base, you'll win the top position. All right, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next instalment of Gracie Baja series. See you soon. Take care.